Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a swatch video and I'm super excited to do this video because I'm going to be swatching the Too Faced chocolate bar or no, chocolate bar. The Too Faced chocolate bonbon palette. I got this palette, palette. <laughs> I got this palette recently for my nine year anniversary from Sean. I'm super excited. I've won this palette for a while now and it's always was sold out um, in Sephora so he recently went to Sephora and I came home from work one night on an anniversary and I saw it in the little Sephora bag and I was super excited because like I said I wanted this palette so bad how gorgeous does this look it's different from the other um, Choco Bar palette it's pink it's so pretty it's gorgeous it's so girly and yeah it's way different than the other ones and also they have like it's also different like it doesn't look like the like the chocolate bar palette has like the squares it has hearts on it super cute I love hearts and also inside all the pans in I just don't want to blind you guys but all the pans in the palette are all shaped as hearts I think it was super cute these are the shadows in the Bon Bon palette super gorgeous right but what I'm gonna do is like all my other swatch videos I'm going to be swatching each of these eyeshadows on my eye because I always say that when you swatch it on your hand, it's a way different color payoff than when you swatch it on your eyelid to get the true a color effect of the shadows. I'm going to be swatching each of the shadows on my eye so you get to see what the shadows look like. Bring you a little bit closer to my eyeballs so or my eyelids so you guys can see the shadow swatches. Well, hello. I'm like all up in the screen right now, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's good. So you guys can really see the color effect. Now I think I should move back a little bit because I look like a moon face. <laughs> I think that's better. The first color I'm going to be swatching is Almond Truffle. Right away, I'm going to know this is like my perfect eye color just to wear all over the lids because I like a nice like mauve neutral color for all over the... Oh, I didn't, I didn't even put a primer on. <laughs> Silly me, I'm so excited to swatch them. I'm going to use, as usual, my NYX HD Primer on my eyelids as my shadow primer. So let's swatch Almond Truffle. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, yes. This is great for all of the... It looks good with this lip color. Like, I would put this all over my lid and then just use, like, mascara and then I'm out the door. Like, that type of shadow. Like, your everyday go-to one shadow look. Um, what I was going to add, that just, you can't add anything to that sentence. It's just one shadow look. Uh, this is great. Just to put on the lid, put mascara on, and you're good to go. If you're, like, in a rush and you don't want to, like, sit there and blend, 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 blend. Um, sounds like I'm saying blend, 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 <laughs> blend, 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 um, gorgeous, love this color, almond truffle is definitely my favorite. The next one I want to swatch is this big one right here, and it's called Satin Sheets, one of their highlight colors in the palette, and this is, has a gold sheen to it. I would definitely use this as my inner corner highlight. I wouldn't use it too much as my brow bone highlight because I do not like any like shimmery um, stuff on my crease. I don't like it. But I would definitely love it in my inner tear duct. And also I may want to pop it in my in the middle of my lid just to make your lid pop a little bit so I definitely use this shadow as my inner tear duct and also I would just pop it like right in the middle of any like shadow look just to pop it like I'll put it right in the middle 
Like, I would put it in the middle of this shadow to add some, some dimension, you know, to make it pop so it doesn't look like a flat color. So, definitely, Satin Sheets is gorgeous. It's a very gorgeous highlight. So, you have, um, so you have Almond Truffle and you have Satin Sheets. The next one I'm going to be swatching is Sprinkles. This is also probably going to be my favorite color because I love, like, sheen pink shadows. Oh yes, it's great for Valentine's Day and it's coming up real, real soon. Mm. I mean, it's not so vibrant, but it's a beautiful color. There's a sheen to it, it's very sparkly, and yeah, like I said, there's no vibrancy, like it's not a bold color, but it looks gorgeous on the lid. Gives a nice white look. Next one is Molasses Chip. Oh. Focus. 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 Thank you. This is now another sheen color, but it's more of like a, like a taupe, you know, sheen color. And, oh, it's gold. It's like taupey and gold. This is beautiful. I wonder if you mix sprinkles and this color will create a nice rose gold color. Maybe. Probably would. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this one. Oh, I'm obsessed with this palette. Love it. So we got sprinkles and we got molasses chip. The next color we're swatching is molted. This color is a brown color. It has some sparkle in it, but it's not like boom, like glitz. That's how, like, it doesn't. It has like a very hint of sparkle. So it's not like full, like glitz and glam type of sparkle. So you could definitely probably use this in your crease. And this is pigmented. Look at that color. Look at that. This is a nice brown color. Honestly, like, this palette, like, beats the other two chocolate bar palettes. Like, this is, I'm in love so far with four of these shades so far. And, like, each one of them, like, I love. Like, just the color payoff, the way it just, like, builds on your eyelid. And it's just, they're gorgeous colors. And I'm so happy. Oh, look, I have a black eye. I'm so happy with this palette. The next one is Cashew Chew. This is a just like a beige color. This is good for like your lid color, I would say. Let me change this. Uh, change the brush. This color is just your um, base color. You could probably use as your transition. To blend it out, it's not. It's not too vibrant. It's just a basic, like beige color, and I would definitely use it on your lid or in your crease area for a transition. So this one is molted, and this one is cashew chew. Next one is cotton candy. Now this color, I'm excited because it's pink. It's beautiful, and I love pink shadows. Great for Valentine's Day. So let's see. Oh, yes. I definitely pair this color with pink sprinkles. Oh, you got to look. Oh, yes. This is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Do you not see this? Beautiful. The next one is a silver one, and I hope I'm not butchering it. But I think it's Cafe au Lat. Cafe au Lat. Cafe au Lat. Cafe au Lat. I think that's how you say it. It's very French. Now this color is a silver color. It's very different. And I don't think I have any silver colors in my collection. Oh, yes, honey. Yes. Oh, no, I lied. I think I have one in my naked palette, but not like this. 
This is beautiful. You have cotton candy and you have cafe au lait. Au lait. The next color is Bordeaux. Now, this is a brownish maroon color, I'm thinking. Yep. It's like a maroon brown color. Beautiful. This will be a great lid color. More crease color. To make a nice warm look. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. The next one is Mocha. This will be your neutral brown. Like a light brown. It's actually your neutral brown. It's not light. It looks light in the pan. But when you put on your lid... It looks just like a neutral, just a regular brown color. Beautiful. I really like that Bordeaux color. That's really pretty. So you have Bordeaux and you have Mocha. The next color is Black Currant. Now this one I'm also excited for because it's like purple and has some like glitter in there. I'm like excited to see what that looks like. like I'm just going to be really pigmented. Oh, yes. Oh, it's spark. There's like pink sparkles in it. Ooh. I love it. Look at that. This is going to look great with my hair. Look at that. Oh my god. I love all these shadows. I'm so excited to create a lot of looks. A lot of looks in this palette. The next one is Dark Truffle. Now this has some sheen to it. And it's just the brown. It's very fudgy looking. Oh yeah, it's so dark. Beautiful. It's for a smoky eye. But this color is very like fudgy and it's dark. So we have black currant. And or Courant, Courant, Black Current, Black Courant, and Dark Truffle. The next one is Pecan Praline. Praline, Praline. This is a gray color, and I don't think I have any gray colors in like a cool tone gray color in my collection. Beautiful. Yes, it's not so like, like vibrant, but gives a good color to it. Nice cool tone gray color. The next one is Totally Fetch. Hi, Fetch. This is a magenta pink color, and this is definitely going to be pigmented. Very vibrant. Oh, yes, look at that. That's like Barbie pink. Like, if you want, a, like, a statement shadow, like, this is your statement shadow. Beautiful. So we have Totally Fetch and Pecan Prylon. Prylon. The next one is Earl Grey. Very unique name. And this is a very unique color. It's like a bluish green color. Like, oh, yeah. It's very unique. It's like... A turqu like a deep dark like a dark turquoise turquoise tur turquoise <laughs> a deep turquoise like a peacock color oh yes I like that Earl Grey the next one is Divinity Div Divinity we're just gonna go with it because this bomb bomb pal is punking me with these names and this is just your basic highlight shade like your no sheen to it and got some Earl Grey in there but like I would use this white as my highlight for my brow bone so we have Earl Grey and we have Divinity Divinity okay guys so this is the end of my swatch video of the Bon Bon palette my overall thoughts of this palette super freaking gorgeous I am so excited to be creating a lot of looks with this palette all the 
all the colors in this palette are so unique so beautiful so gorgeous and they're so me so i'm so happy that i got this palette for my boyfriend for my anniversary gift i love it i am so grateful i can't wait to create many looks with it that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I love reading all your comments. If you're not stalking me on any of my social medias, follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. My links are always down below. So go check them out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to become one of my members in my job army. I love you guys all. And remember, be strong, be different, and be creative. Bye, dolls.